Survival Drop 101. Wakandra. We're back in this uh, military handbook. Let's go. Shout out to the wheel. My knock is tuning in, man, on these Monday nights, man. Be uh, truly on fire, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the ox, man. You already know, man. Tikkun say. Yosef. Ma. Yohanatan. Shout out to them ox, man. Hold down. The Monday wheel, man. We building from here, my naga. We building from here, my naga. You know what I'm saying? These ox been, you know what I mean? I got to give them the Ahab. You know what I'm saying? Ahab Aqua Tide, man. You know what I'm saying? We look forward to that beautiful flow on Wednesday as well. You know, Tuesday. Everything's being rebuilt. That's why I haven't rushed to get a new schedule up yet. I want to find the flow. You know, I want to find it with you. So, you know, the water for your... Baruch, you know, your patience and blessings for us, you know what I'm saying, during this time of transition. And uh, shout out, you know what I mean, real talk, man, my Jigga attack, man, you know what I'm saying, Yosef, Yonatan, Aquatai, I mean, you know, we're talking about true no holds bar dedication, you know what I'm saying? And during the time of transition, that's what you need, especially, you know what I mean, to anchor in on something. If you can't give us nothing to anchor to, you know what I'm saying, then, you know, sometimes we can't hit them tight corners together. It's been a lot of tight corners. So, uh, you know, I just want to, you know, say tip my drop cap, you know what I mean, my drop beating <laughs> to, uh, you know what I'm saying, the eat the squad, you know, and we are being rebuilt in real time, you know, all that. But, you know, I mean, the dedication, man, to get the drop to you, you know what I'm saying, um, Making it truly as easy as possible, man. You know what I mean? Behind the scenes. I'm just talking behind the scenes a lot. I mean, everything, you know, is built behind the scenes. And, you know, by the time the transmission hits the uh, the ether, my not, you know what I mean? It's it's gone through perseverance, you know. And, I mean, the ether squad has persevered with a not. I'll be patient with you. You know, we can see the vision together. We can know that we on the hottest, uh, we surfing the hottest arrow. You know, we on that arrow, the, the strong archer Hawaii shot a long time ago. He shot this arrow, you know what I mean? And we're on it, man. We're surfing the wave right there at the crystal, you know, tip of the arrowhead right there. You know what I mean? And we're cutting it, you know, slicing and dicing, man, through Hijack City together. That's what the Ether Squad is going to do for you. You know, shout out to the dragons on the wall. Everyone who supports 432 to drop radio. And uh, soon, my naga, you know, you're going to have me live every day. You know, uh, not just on the Shabbat show. All that's being rebuilt, man. So I know you know it's coming. I know you, you've you seen this, you know what I'm saying, throughout all this, you know, time. And, um, you know, coming back stronger, coming back stronger. So it's one of those times that we're being, you know, set to. Launch off to the stratosphere, not the stratosphere, the mesosphere, not the mesosphere, man. The greater light. Because they never saw us coming because they can't see beyond the greater light. So yeah, I just want to shout y'all out, man, on some real, real, you know what I mean? And while we do that, let's dig on some of this survival drop 101. What kind of drop, man? And they hop again to the dragons on the wall. Dragon sponsors, Copper Dragon, Copper Dragon, Silver Dragons, and Gold Dragons. You know what I'm saying? Check out 432thedrop.com. Click on Dragon Sponsors. And it's only 25 bucks above to be a, a Copper Dragon. You know, 50 for the silver, $100 a month for the golden dragons on the wall. And that gets spread evenly to the entire Ether Squad. You know, dedicated to this drop. You know what I'm saying? Dedicated to their shows, man, to get them to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is what we're building with, my Nagas. So build with us, you know what I mean? And, you know, it gets spread evenly to my Nagas. They can save it up. We can put it together. You know what I'm saying? We about to zero back in, you know what I mean, on that land. I'm I'm feeling that wave, my Nagas. So allow what, man. I want to talk about the psychology of survival. Not just how to start a fire, but, you know, the real, the mind mode. You know, what goes into your mind in a state of, you know, survival. I mean, even people, 
talk about, oh, okay, you know, I got this state stored away. I got that stored away. And that's all good. But when it's really time to use that stuff, man, I mean, where's your mind going to be? At? It takes much more than knowledge and skills to build shelter, get food, make fires and travel without the aid of standard navigational devices to live successfully through a survival situation. Some people with little or no survival training have managed to survive life threatening circumstances. Some people with survival training have not used their skills and died. A key ingredient in any survival situation is the mental attitude of the individuals involved. You want to try, but where's your mind at, man? Everybody's in a rush to, you know, oh, okay, you know, I, I, I want to detach from my hijack and then attach ourselves into Drop Nation. But where's your mind at? Are you meditating on the code? Or you got your own code, you got your own way? The code is a frequency. It's not words on a paper. It's a frequency. Well, you got to get that through your mind, bone, my knockers. It's not your code and it's not your frequency, but you can surf the wave in it. You can become it or you can get washed up. You don't own it, man. Just like you don't own no land. We could say we buy land, but we can never own the land. Truly, it belongs to Hawa. The frequency, the code belongs to Hawa. It's more than thou shall not and thou shall and thou shall not. It belongs to Hawa. We just hope that what's left of the thou shalt not and thou shalt. We hope what's left is enough to, you know, transition us, my naga, into a higher vibration. Not killing, not stealing and all that. Definitely not being hijacked, putting the power between you and Hawa. I hope that vibes you up, my naga. You know what I'm saying? Into a frequency. So you can never front on a frequency, man. You can never say it's dead. It's a frequency. It's you, right? It's life. You got to choose up. You got to choose life. So when your life is on the line, you know what I mean? Where's your mind bone going to be at, man? People want to tribe up, but where their mind go? Where is their heart? You know what I mean? Where's their minds? Where's their hearts going to be at when it's time to really tribe up? Where's your mind bone going to be at? So I'm in this, uh, you know what I'm saying, survival handbook. I'm going to go ahead and drop it for y'all. Shout out to everyone checking in the drop chatterbox. You know, even uh, as we ramp up into the relaunch of our Shibata show, you know what I'm saying? You've been keeping me going, man. Just. All that drive. Shout out to Dragon Child, man. The bro Dragon Child be in there, man. Dragon Canoe, what it do, man. Tell us everything. Be in the shark, man. Aqua, I see it. The Wada, I need my aquas. I need the aquas that are on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Over there, you know what I'm saying? Protecting, you know what I mean? Protecting what's ours, man. We keep the code to protect what's ours. This ain't no play play. This is a transmission. We call it 432 to drop radio. But in real spill, in real time, you know, it's our transmission. It's our creative way to transmit our flow, our music, our poetry, and definitely the information. You know what I'm saying? But the information ain't just what you're getting off the TV and, oh, talking about um, current news, and up to date this, and up to date that. Now you're chasing them. If you're just trying to be up to date <laughs> with everything. Yeah, be aware, you know, but be more aware of your vibration. Because there's a shift at play and you can get caught up in Hijack City chasing they tail all day. Or you can start shifting. I'm getting my noggins to frequency up so we can frequency up out of here. You know, maybe on one parallel realm you'll still be chasing their tail but we'll be somewhere else man with the greater light there's a psychology to survival let's get it so again a key ingredient in any survival situation is the mental attitude of the individual
Having survival skills is important. Having the will to survive is essential. Without a desk to survive, acquired skills serve little purpose and invaluable knowledge goes to waste. There is a psychology to survival. The soldier in a survival environment faces many stresses. So even though it's the army, you know, handbook to survive or survival for them, you know, try to apply what you can to you as a soldier in Hawa's army, as a soldier in David's army, my not. Let's go. The soldier in a survival situation or survival environment faces many stresses that ultimately impact on his mind or her mind. These stresses can produce thoughts and emotions that if poorly understood can transform a, a confident, well-trained Naga <laughs> into an indecisive, ineffective individual with questionable ability to survive. Now, of course, they say soldier. I'm going to say not, man, because, you know, you know what we're talking about. The survival drive one on one, man. But can't drop. Let's get that again. The stresses can produce thoughts and emotions. We say, get out of your feelings. Oh, this election's happening. Da -da 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 -da. We got to leave America. We got to leave the cities before the election happens. Look, man. Feeney is crisscrossing on your head, ball. Great American Comet 2024. Say no more. Say less. Ain't no script telling you to freak out and get out the city and go to your mountains and trees. But, you know, we got to make our way towards that goal. We might have a goal of buying land every year. If we can just reach every other every other year or every three years, my naga, we win it. If we bought land five years ago, we're still winning. Whether we've done anything with it, we got it. We got 10 acres in Utah right now. Hey, ready to be touched. Shout out to the tribe. It don't matter if you buy it before it is and, and get it before it is. You might not have to buy it, my nigga. It might be given to you. I mean, fall back, my nigga. The stresses, man. This COVID situation got niggas stressed out, right? Huh? Stressed out. What happens when niggas get stressed out? They get emotional, man. You ain't never gone through no fire. Hey, shout out to my noggers behind the wall, man. Because it ain't until you're behind the wall, you no matter how long or how short your time is, a nogger could come in there with a short sentence and be caught up in some stuff and be there a long time. You know what I mean? A nogger can go with a long sentence and something could happen like Lil Wayne, he got pardoned. Bang, he's out of there. So you don't know. It's all up to really Hawaii, like, you know what I mean? But they they want to act like they got the power, right? And it ain't until you're behind the wall that you can really drive up in a in the way that you can never learn on the internet. You can never learn on YouTube. You can never learn it watching these, you know, whoever. Because behind the wall, it's ultimate stress, bro. Sister, it's ultimate stress. Every day is stressful. You wake up stressful and it could be even more stressful if you, you know, bunking with someone or, you know, what I'm saying Sally's with someone who's stressful. Like, you know, what I'm saying it's always like stressful, man. You get cozy. Oh, we good. Nope. now they out or you out or you this or that. that. Come on, man. And it ain't to you behind the wall that you see how Nagas deal with stress. And you can see how, you know, what I'm saying you end up. 
tribing up, clicking up, you know what I'm saying, with, you know, folks that's strong, that, that, that want to work out and want to keep their minds going and want to talk about these things. They love talking about Preston John, man. They love talking about King David. Someone who's gone through all, you know what I'm saying, these trials, man, these tribulations. They love that talk, man, because they going through it, my noggin. They love it, man. They want to hear more. I thought they're going to be tripping because most of them Christians and Muslim, man, they was into Preston John, man. We found it in the encyclopedia. They started bugging out like, damn, this nigga ain't tripping. He ain't bullshit. They, they started getting books shipped in, man, like that I didn't have. That's still there, man. Now, they got their own library, my nut. On the priest con flow. This ain't no play play, man. This ain't YouTube, man. We just share a por a portion of what we digging on and dropping on on YouTube and you know what I'm saying, all this, man. We in the ether, man. The ether is everywhere. Shout out Ma, man. The ether is everywhere. <laughs> so the stress, you know what I'm saying? You see how Naga deals with stress. You like, damn, man, you know, you a strong Naga and all the stuff you got to go through. Damn, man, you you got a life sentence in the state, but you over here in the feds fighting X, Y, and Z just so you can take a break <laughs> from the spot you at. But you know, either way, it go down. Either way, win or lose, you still got to deal with that life sentence in the state. And you over here laughing, you know what I mean? Not like, you know, not laughing to a point where you're like, nigga, what the hell do you think is so, you know, why is it so much fun? Not like that, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you got nuggets like that behind the wall. That's, it, they having a ball. Like, it's crazy, too, you know? But a Naga can still, you know, play chess and smile and, you know, keep his mind sharp, his body sharp, you know what I mean? And, you don't see him being broke down. He has hope, like, and he's dealing with all that, man. And shout out to my bro Nutty Boy, man, from Inglewood family out here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to his brother Green Eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, real Naga. Shout out to my bro Choo Choo from Fodies. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Choo Choo, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out RJ from Compton. You know what I mean? Like, shout out RJ. You know what I mean? Shout out Wink, man. Shout out Zip. Shout out YG, you know what I'm saying? Out there in San Diego, you know what I mean? Shout out the real ones, man. These are Bloods, Crip, GDs, BDs, you know what I'm saying? All that. Digging on the priest con flow. This is Tribe. You ain't seen me before. You ain't never heard in the ether before. But this is Tribe, my naga. Free my nagas. So, I got more respect. For them Nuggets, man, that I tribed up with, you know what I mean, behind behind the wall dealing with my bullshit. Then a lot of you, you know, phonies out here, you know what I'm saying, acting like you stress and acting like this and acting like a Naga need to always, you know what I'm saying, hold your hand and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I done seen the real ones. I done been raised by the real ones. They ain't like that, man. They ain't like you know, the phony noggers that, that's out here in the internet world. You know what I'm saying? I don't got a lot of patience for these internet noggers. You know what I'm saying? Not when I see how noggers deal with survival and stress in real time. So this handbook applied to you. Because it's, it's real spill when it says that these stresses can produce thoughts and emotions. First thing, you got to get your emotions in check. And now I guess emotions will have them in the crux, man. <laughs> have you popping off at the lip? You know what I'm saying? Have you popping off, you know, with profane words and, and things just because of emotions of stress? Aquas, you already know. <laughs> Shout out to my aquas, but you already know. Keeping it trill, right? So stress, emotions that if poorly understood can transform a confident well-trained soldier into an indecisive so well-trained naga right you trained up in the cold 
Allah you know what I mean? You're over there, you know, Shalom, Shalom. You know, you tribing up and all this and all that. But then that stress, oh, the COVID, all oh, the elections, the martial law, you know, all these things. Yeah, yeah. All this could happen, man. So either you rocking with the code or you ain't. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I believe in the code. Because I've seen the code in real play and real in real function. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to yourself. We're just talking about the function. What did you think it was going to be in 2021? Managi, you surfing the wave. How, how did you perceive the wave was going to be in the year 2021? Hawaii sending you a message. How did you perceive the message was going to reach you in 2021? Who do you want to hear from? You know, because no matter who gives you this message, you're going to hate on them. You're going to try to shine on them and, and, and you know, act like, you know, that they doing this and they doing that. You're going to try to crucify whatever messenger comes your way, right? How about we stop focusing on the messenger and start focus, focusing on the message? Well done, Drop Nation, because we told the entire, you know, earth plane of Nagas to keep the code. Because if you're talking about survival drop 101, that's rule number one of survival or not. Keep the code. Or you'll be out the game. In hijack city. Keep the code. It's not a, well, you know, I was about to say it's not a magical code, but it actually is a magical code. I don't want to downplay the code now. We're talking frequency, right? They would consider it magi magic. I believe, my noggin, that we have a magical frequency that is tapped into very simply by keeping the code. I believe, my noggin, that it wouldn't matter at all what Camilla Harris or Joe Biden or anybody in between, Proud Boys in between, Trump in between, None of that shit matters when you're in code. I can guarantee you that, my night. But you're too proud to get in code because you don't want to listen to nobody. But you're worried about being a follower. Got you. So that's your ego. You're just weak. You're just weak if you can't follow a message that is, uh, you know, giving you back all your jewels. If it's giving you back your jewels, my dog, it must mean Hawaii is telling you like it's time to tap in to your treasure. Are you going to tap in or are you going to, you know, compete <laughs> with the message? Or can you be, you know, grateful to Hawaii? Receive the message to connect directly with Hawa for your survival drop 101. A well trained soldier becomes an indecisive, ineffective individual with questionable ability to. Survive. Questionable ability to serve the way. Ineffective. Because of your stress. Because you couldn't control your emotions. If you in code and you know what you're doing, whatever that is, I'm going to rock with you, man. You know, shout out to the drop producers, man. <laughs> you know, if, if you know how to bang them slaps and put them instruments together and I'm trying to learn something, I'm going to listen to it. It don't make me a follower. But you know, it all depends on what you follow. Everyone follows something. Or you're, or you're going to learn nothing. 
You gonna teach it? You gonna be self-taught in everything? No, I want a good teacher. If I want to train jujitsu, I want to go to a good teacher. It don't matter what school it is. <laughs> I remember, you know, uh, maybe about four or five years ago. No, no, man, about 10 years ago, really. You know, I started, you know, training in uh, Vancouver. I was out in Vancouver. And that's when I started training in some jujitsu. Then I came back here to the States and um, I was training at Gracie Bar back there. I came back here to the States <laughs> and they were trying to front on Gracie Bar. Like, oh man, that's like the McDonald's of jujitsu camps, you know? Because <laughs> it is everywhere, you know what I mean? Um, and I had to learn, you know what I'm saying, that it's all about the teacher. Because one person can say, oh, well, that's so popular. I can't learn nothing from it. But they wouldn't know about the particular teacher I had in Vancouver. You know what I mean? And how ignorant folks could be because they hear a name that's popular. And they say, oh, Gracie Barr, you know. There's the Gracie Academies. There's different, you know. Shout out to Tech. I know I know you know about all this. And you're how the time what it do. You know what I'm saying? But my particular teacher, though, you know what I'm saying, was really, you know. One of a kind, in my opinion, you know what I mean? Shout out to Renato, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I got some great training in Vancouver, man. But if I would have fronted on the gym because it was the, it was so popular, it was the McDonald's of jujitsu gym, you know? Not that particular spot in Vancouver, though. And shout out to the, you know, you know what I mean? Shout out to the trainers there because, you know, I didn't, I didn't go in uh, acting like I knew everything. You know, I, look, I've been training at this and training at that my whole life, different things, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't go in acting like uh, I've been training, you know, this, and my brother does this. And, you know, I, I didn't go in with no chip, man. You, I emptied my cup, and I was a good student. I followed. I was a follower, <laughs> you know, of of particular training from a particular teacher. We have to be able to be followers of a particular training from, you know, life itself, you know? Hey, it could be from nature, <laughs> but what's nature? Nature is that of the creator. So the creator is always going to teach us no matter what it is, whether it's a plant, you know what I mean? Whether it's a tree or, you know, whether it's an ak or an aqua. You know what I mean? So pay attention to the message. Don't glorify the messenger. But, you know, give honor to the messenger that's coming with a pure water message. And in Drop Nation, that's why we simplified the code, you know, right there to Exodus 20, where you can go, you know, get a comprehension of what we digging on, because this is Survival Drop 101. If you can't get past rule number one, we got a problem, boss. You know what I mean? So, hey, what would David do, man? What, what would David do? Shout out to the tribe. Let's go, man. So you don't want to become an ineffective individual with questionable ability to survive, man. Manage your emotions. We're talking about the psychology of survival. Thus, every soldier must be aware of and be able to recognize those stresses commonly associated with survival. Additionally, it is imperative that soldiers or managas be aware of their reactions to the wide variety of stresses associated with survival. This chapter will identify and explain the nature of stress, the stresses of survival, and those internal reactions soldiers will naturally experience when faced with the stresses of a real-world survival situation. The knowledge you the soldier, the noggin, gained from this chapter and other chapters in this manual will prepare you to come through the toughest times alive. Okay? I told y'all, man, five minutes, I saved your whole life, man. This is a, a nice, uh, lengthy survival drive, man, because we're just talking about psychology of survival, and that's one-on-one -on -one right now as the world is in a tumult, and it's going to turn up even more. 
I want you on this wave, my nigga. I want you tuning in. We got water flowing, man. Tune into that water because I'm right here with you. You know, let's be united. Let's be focused. And let's be in code. We're going to get this piece and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it up right here. It's going to be a part two to the psychology of survival. Let's, let's get this for the dismount. A look at stress. Before we can understand our psychological reactions in a survival setting, it is helpful to first know a little about stress. Stress is not a disease that you cure or eliminate. Instead, it is a condition we all experience. Stress can describe or be described as our reaction to pressure. It is the name given to the experience we have as we physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually respond to life's tension. And right now, monogamous, we got all these tensions in our face bones, vaccines, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, police violence, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just nonstop, man. Naga on Naga violence, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nonstop, man. So instead, it is a condition we all experience. Let's get. We need. Stress because we need stress because it has many positive benefits. Let's look at the positive benefits of stress for the dismount. Stress provides us with challenges. It gives us chances to learn about our values and strengths. Stress can show our ability to handle pressure without breaking. It tests our adaptability and flexibility. It can stimulate us to do our best because we usually do not consider unimportant events stressful. Stress can also be an excellent indicator of the significance we attach to an event. In other words, it highlights what is important to us. We need to have some stress in our lives, but too much of anything can be bad. The goal is to have stress, but not an excess of it. Too much stress can take its toll on people and organizations. You don't want to come over here to drop nation with all your, all your hijack, all your stress. When we have, you know what I'm saying, our, our, when we tribe up and we sitting around that fire, that ain't the time for you to be dumping all your stress, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going through this, and oh my God, this is happening at home, and I can't trust this person, and they don't do that. This is a time, Anagi, <laughs> for you to, you know, be in your highest vibration, man. You know, enjoy that fire. Raise the frequency of the Naga next to you. You know, you got to manage your own stress, man. A lot of us, that's our issue. My aquas, my ox, that's our issue. We bring our stress and then we want to try to, you know, throw that into the pure water. You know what I'm saying? Oh, maybe the pure water can handle this stress. You got to handle this stress, man. Not drop nation, not me, not your ox to the left, your aqua to the right. I know things get beyond, beyond, and it's good to have people to talk to. Talking to someone, you know, it ain't the same as dumping your problems on them. You know what I mean? It's okay to let Anaga know what's going on. You know what I mean? But you know that energy that just wants to dump and dump and dump and dump. They don't, they don't want to listen. They don't want to do nothing about it. But they just want to dump and dump and dump and dump. And they never good. You ask them what's good. They never say, man, allow why I'm great. Even if they're not, ain't about lying. It's like, yo. I know I'm great because I'm going to speak it into existence. I'm going to say I'm great because I am great, even if I'm going through this. And, you know, maybe you got a naga that you do want to open up with or aqua you do want to open up with. You know what I'm saying? And that's all good. Because this aqua wants to hear about that situation. No, that's good. You know, good. As long as she got a good intention. As long as she got a good intention. Some people just like collecting information. You got to watch out for them. They just want information all day. They want to linger around collecting information. Watch out for the snakes in the garden, my knives. Dracons on the wall. So all this comes into play. If you want to open up, you want to share, that's good. But don't just try to make someone else's life stressful because you're dealing with stress you can't handle. That's not tribing up, man. And then they, they don't want to deal with your stress because <laughs> it's constant, you know what I'm saying? So then now all of a sudden, you know, you know, they don't want to try up and you know, they they acting like that's just you projecting your own stress creating a larger 
you know, tsunami of stress instead of doing the opposite. A lot of us ain't used to dealing with our own problems, our own stress, pointing the finger at ourselves, dropping that ego. You think it's somebody else. If, if you victimize so much, you think everyone's doing something to you. It's you. You victimize yourself. It's not a bunch of people picking on you. It's you. You're addicted to being a victim. Sometimes stress gives you something to talk about. Sometimes you like to tell people your stress because it gets people focused on you for a second. Maybe it's just your insecurity of not being paid enough attention to. Maybe your stress gives you more attention. You might not admit it, but it's true. Again, we try, but we're around that campfire. It's, it ain't the time for you to be dumping out all your stress, right? Just for attention so people can say, oh, poor, ah, poor aqua. No, man, this is a time for you to, you know, vibe up, man. And just if you ain't got nothing, you know, positive and fluid to say or nothing that's going to build up a noggin, man, just enjoy the crackle of the fire. And meditate on how to alleviate whatever is stressing you out within you. And again, it don't mean that you don't get help when you need help. But you know the difference between getting help and being a constant victimized person. Drop Nation ain't going to cleanse that. Drop Nation is going to expose that and you're going to have to deal with it one way or another. Now we need, it says we need to have some stress in our life, but too much of anything can be bad. The goal is to have stress, but not in excess of it. Because too much stress can take its toll on people and organizations. So I'm talking to the tribe. Your stress can take a toll on a whole entire situation. You can bring your stress into a situation that had no it had no place there you should have dealt with that why take your toll on an entire organization on an entire tribe because of your situation that's selfish man and that's weak and i'm i'm speaking from experience man we have to deal with this you know and dealing with people cuz a lot of times you meet people and you meet them for the first time you don't know what they bring it this is real spill this is what we're dealing with. This is why we got to take a step back sometime. Everybody want to build, 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 but who are we building with? Who's ready? You say, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I got this. I got monies. I got this. I done, I done sold that. I'm ready. To, man, what you ready to dump your stress? Take your toll? Are you ready? <laughs> are you keeping the code? What frequency are you in? Cause just because you say you ain't no hijack Don't mean you ain't no hijack Not if you're taking a toll on an entire organization Because of your stress Allow why Too much stress leads to distress Distress causes an uncomfortable tension That we try to escape and preferably avoid Listed below are a few of the common Signs of distress you may find in your fellow soldiers or your tribe or yourself when faced with too much stress, man, for the dismount. Difficulty making decisions, angry outbursts, forgetfulness, low energy level, constant worrying, propensity for mistakes, thoughts about death or suicide, trouble getting along with others, withdrawing from others, hiding from responsibilities, carelessness as you can see stress can be constructive or destructive it can encourage or discourage move us along or stop us dead in our tracks and we like to keep the water flowing and make life meaningful or seemingly meaningless stress can inspire you to operate successfully and perform at your maximum efficiency in a survival situation are you that type of naga? Because again, shout out to my nagas behind the wall that I saw operate at a maximum efficiency. 
in survival situations, man, operate successfully and perform at their best every day. And I said, man, that's my naga right there. If I ever see you, man, you know, whenever we click, you know what I'm saying, tribe up, it's going to be on and popping, man. And shout out to my nagas behind the wall. Some of them trying to get off these life sentences, man, get off these L's, son. You know, got another 10 on this conspiracy, got them another 15. Man, tangled up. Ain't nobody checking for him, man. Ain't nobody checking for Moshe. Anybody checking for Moshe? Shout out to my doggers, you know, that have inspired me to operate successfully and perform at my maximum efficiency in survival situations. Last part is this. It can also cause you to panic and forget all your training Key to your survival is your ability to manage the inevitable stresses you will encounter. The survivor survivor is the soldier who works with his stresses instead of letting his stresses work on him. And we'll get the survival stresses, man, on the next survival drop. One on one. What con drop? Con up drop nation. You already know, tribe or nothing. Hope oh, bye.